Oh, hey there. I was just looking at how god awful my bumper looks up here. Uh, well, today we're gonna be taking a look at the old bird and uh, checking out all the issues it has and uh, letting y'all see that. So, as you can already tell from me looking at this, bumper's a piece of crap. As you can tell, it's in good shape. It's supposed to do that, right? <laughs> my headlights aren't even in right. This one, I don't think is connected to anything and uh, it's held on by speaker wire. So that's pretty good. Dents all in the hood. Pretty good. Let me put my hood pin upside down. Super squeaky. God oh, dang. Look at this right here. If y'all seen the other video, y'all know what that is. I put uh, the dually wheels on the front, bent my fender, and then when I punched it back in, I chipped the paint off with my fist, so yeah, that looks bad. These nice mirrors that have deteriorated from so much tire shine being thrown on them that it took the clear coat off, and they're now white. Pretty good stuff. All my trim is looking real nice up close. My wrap's blowing off. Don't know what that trim is, flew off. Lots of dents, dent right there, dent in the fender. Uh, I think there's a dent in the other door. Can't forget the yeah, strap. dent in the center of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I get hit a lot. <laughs> I don't even know if you can look at the trunk and see how many scratches are on here, but I don't think there's a bit of clear coat on the trunk. Man, look at that rear bumper. Somebody put a beer sticker on the back and the beer sticker engraved itself into the paint. I don't have no clue what it is. Busted bumper right there, looking pretty good. I think my truck tips are rusting to crap. I haven't messed with them in a long time. They're looking pretty bad. I don't even know if the underside of the car looks good. Eh, typical, rusted. <laughs> As you can tell, got the stock rim still on. I finished my other one. That's looking bad. I got rust uh, bubbling up under here. That's gonna be bad here soon. Probably need to get that fixed. Let's see if the car even opens. Cause usually the uh, lock system about don't work either. I did it that time. Take a look at that interior right there. Straight in, dirty and cracked dash. That's good to see. No radio. Oh my gosh, a bee. <laughs> Dang wasp in there. Get, get. <laughs> Piece of crap. You go. Let's take the seat in here. All right. So you know you got the crack dash. Typical busted to crap uh, vents because people like to put their feet on the dash and break them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my radio. Looks pretty good. A little bit of weight reduction on the radio there. This right here, don't close. Constantly. So that's like that. Uh, don't need to look in the back seat. Too much junk from past videos piled back there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Rust. That's getting worse than the last time I looked at it. Nice amount of rust there. Uh, pop on in. Check out this lower dash. As you can tell, there is none. Here's my hot wire, because sometimes I gotta hot wire my car, because it won't start. Oh, let's take a look at this interior. Everything looks normal for at first glance, but then everything's loose, cracked, busted. Thankfully, it still turns on. Brake lights work now. You look. Yeah. Yeah, it finally works. It's it can actually go halfway. Into gear now. <laughs> it's halfway on? Yeah. What do you mean? Why does it turn off? The top one up here, it's like half of it lit up, but not the other half. How the lights went out that bad? It's actually 50. And the check engine lights are on. Oh, every light's always on like a Christmas tree. That's normal. <laughs> now half the 
time it likes to uh, spit and sputter after starting it up. So I think something's wrong with the mass airflow sensor. Also, the windows don't work. Oh yeah, the windows don't even roll down. None of the door, none of these buttons. Do you see any buttons on this? None of them work. I don't even. I'm pretty sure the mirrors don't even work. No, probably not. <laughs> and then we're going back up with it. There we go. Every time. Door panel about flew off inside. Take a look at the engine bay real quick. Yeah, all the grills have fell out of the hood. I don't know where that one would have went. It had to have fell into the engine bay and out through the bottom. Probably. Because there's nothing here to catch it. You show them the speaker one. Um. Actually, it's on this one. This one's actually in tight. It's got the speaker wire on it. This is the one that, oh yeah. I walked on top of the car. I crawled over the engine bay. <laughs> so uh, when I crawled over, I was like getting on there and busted the crap out of the header panel. And you know, there's nothing for my lights to connect to. That's pretty bad. Like I busted out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dirty under here. Other than that, everything's just bone stuck under here. So, but it still runs. That's all that matters. I'm sure your oil is still. My oil should be good. I've ran it down to about 0.5 quarts of oil. Really nice. Yeah, it's still full. I think it's over full, which is fine. It burns a lot. Four six. Never had a oil change at once. Yeah, I changed it once. One time. Where'd I put my thing in? There we go. Put them back in there. They're rusted too. Somehow stainless steel is rusting like that. <laughs> put that back in. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. As you can tell, pristine, brand new car. Nothing wrong with it. Just as good as it was when it came off the lot. Oh yeah. Now here's the quick wheel update. That's what we got right here. My old 19X AGs. I'm currently refinishing them. Sanding it out. I'm gonna sand all this. It's gonna be silver. I might leave the inner barrel for it. It'll be looking good. So yeah, pretty much. Probably do some more videos. Got some shocks to install. Do another update on these, and we might do some more stupid crap. I don't know. But yeah. See you next video.